Hey folks, it's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak, and we are here to talk about combi canoes. What is a combi canoe? If you can only get one boat, and you have a whole variety of uses in mind, perhaps you want a solo, you want a two-person boat, you want the ability to put three people in it, you want one of these beautiful combi canoes. We've taken our four most popular tandem canoes, the Prospector 15 and 16 and the Kiwaden 16 and 17, and we've done an incredible tooling job with them to build these beautiful combi boats. Let's start with the Prospector 15. This is a Kevlar Fusion Ruby Red Prospector 15. Carbon Kevlar trim, the black and gold. It's got the carbon end caps, the cherry handles, so it comes standard with the fixed bow seat, stern seat, and a fixed seat in the upper position of our multipod. So envision this being fixed. And we always put the yoke pins right at the balance point on the boat, which allows you to put a yoke on so you can flip it up and carry it as when you're solo tripping or tandem, it won't get in the way from you. Now, if you want to take this boat on a tandem trip, you can order it with detachable hardware where you can pop the seat right out and you can take it right out of the boat. Beautiful two-person boat with the yoke on it. You've got a fine tripping boat. This particular one has the multi-height seat pod so you can also very quickly Put this in the lower seat position if you want a more stable platform to fish with. So this baby's beautiful. Note how wide we make the seats on them. So we really bring them way out to the sides here to give you move, room to move around a little bit. You can see the bow seat that comes way out also. So this is a beautiful Kevlar Fusion Prospector 15. Here is a lovely new Prospector 15 combi in the carbon fusion laminate. New for this year, we're building black carbon internal skid plates and do all our carbon fusion boats. It's got the carbon end caps when this one has the beautiful black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. The cherry interior put on with stainless steel hardware. It's got all of the combis come with the standard cherry bow thwart to provide rigidity for the boat. Now, this one is set up in a really cool package that we're really excited about. So, not only is the center seat detachable, so you can use it really nicely as a two-person boat, but this baby also has brand new for this year, the bow seat and the stern seats are also removable. So if you want to take this baby on a solo trip, you can take these seats out. You've got a lot more room for your packs, for dog, really takes the weight out too for the portages, for the carries. We call it the quick change seating system and then it's an option. So check that out really set up nicely. Now, this one also has the universal mount package on the bow thwart, which you can use for a GoPro, camera equipment, fishing equipment. This particular one has a sassafras detachable yoke with our really cool pin system. So right at the balance point of the boat, really easy to take this off when you're not using it. So if you're on a solo trip, you're going to be taking the yoke on and off at every portage. And it's really easy to do, guys. You just unscrew the fittings, take it off. What I like to do when I'm paddling is I just tuck it into the side or you can put it behind you. Now, if you're on a tandem trip, you can get the solo seat detachable also. So this can be taken out. So check this configuration out now. You want to go on a two-person day trip or overnight? You've got a beautiful setup for that. 
Now the universal mount package, if you're on a tandem trip, the bow paddler can access it. Or if you're on a solo trip, the solo paddler can access it nicely. So this particular one also has an optional stern carbon foot bar so the paddler in the back can really brace their legs on it to give it a little bit more power and control with your strokes. So check this out guys. Prospector 15 Combi. This is a great solo boat. It's a great two person day paddling light tripping boat. You can put three people in it if you want to. Wow, do you ever get a lot with this boat? Guys, check out the comfort of this Prospector 15 for me solo. So I'm 6'3". I literally can put my feet on the bow seat. Now, if I had the detachable version and I really wanted to be able to brace my feet, I love the carbon foot bar. When you paddle, you transmit your energy and your power by actually pushing on your feet. You can really lean on your paddle more. So if you've got something to brace your feet on, it really gives you the ability in a real windy, wavy day to have more power as you're paddling. And I just feel more in control when I can really brace my feet. Now, if you want to, one people love paddling this Prospector 15 in the traditional Canadian manner, where they move way over to the side of the boat. It's really easy to put one leg under, one leg in front of you, and to paddle really smoothly. And when you move to the side, you lean the boat over in the shape of this boat. It's very rounded in the chine area, very consistently rounded from one end to the other. The fullness is carried way up the side of the boat, all of our tandem canoes. It's a DY design feature. So it gives the boat so much reserve, overall stability. So this boat, I can literally lean where the water's almost lapping the gunnels. And when you do that, you put more curve of the boat out of the water in the ends, so you can really spin the boat around if you want to. So it's a really comfortable canoe to paddle in the traditional manner when you're really leaned way over on the side. We custom make these beautiful Badger canoe paddles ourselves. And Mr. Badger Mike has developed this particular shape. It's called the Bonga, which I really like using in a solo boat or a pack boat. And he's got other shapes that are really good. I like for tandem tripping. His Badger tail, the Badger tripper. Now, a lot of people really like using a kayak paddle from the center position with a combi canoe. And we love using the paddles that you can adjust the length of. So Werner and Bending Branches make great versions of this. This is a Werner. You can adjust the length and the pits of the paddle just with one clip. And I like the adjustable version because I find on a windy day, I can put the drip rings out further, make the paddle a bit longer and keep the splash and spray out of the boat rather than inside the boat. You want a wider paddle than you use in a kayak. So this is a 240 to 260 adjustable. Whereas in a kayak, like a standard kayak paddle I might use would be a 230. So you really want to get something longer when you're sitting in the middle of a tandem canoe. Now this is right at the balance point of the boat when you're solo paddling. If I'm going on a trip, let's say I took my dog with me, I'd put my pack right behind me, put my dog right in front of me, and hopefully the weight will balance out nicely that way. Now, also many people will put a large dry bag in the top of a pack with heavy stuff in it, and you put the main form of your pack behind you and put the dry bag right in front of you. And another super cool feature of this is that because we put the bow thwart in, without the fixed center yoke in all the time, and it really helps stiffen up the rigidity of the boat. This allows us the ability to put the mount package on so it's right in front of you, right where you want to use it. So if you're really into fishing, photography, the Prospector 15 is a really neat combi boat for people that are really into solo, 
but they want the ability to be able to use the boat for two or three people. Cheers to the Prospector 15 Combi. Here is the extended cab pickup truck, super cab, lots of volume, lots of ability to do many functional things with this particular boat, a Prospector 16 Combi. This particular one is an Expedition Kevlar in the beautiful sapphire blue. And it's got the black carbon internal skid plates, what we're doing new this year. And many people will also get the, the color skid plates on top of this, which we color black for even more protection. It's got the beautiful basalt and negra commingle cloth on the inside of the hull and the float tanks. It's got the black carbon end caps, really tight fitted to the boat with a hole drilled in the end so water can escape it when you tip it over. This baby has the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim with the standard cherry is on the inside of all of these with the, the stainless steel hardware. This baby's got the bow and stern seats are standard of course. The Prospector 16 is our most popular two-person boat. It's just the do-everything boat. Many people love it. So set up in this combi configuration is just beautiful. So if you really think the tandem canoe part of it is more important than solo to you, then this may be the boat you want to consider. This particular one, it's got the bow thwart, which is standard on all the combi canoes with the universal mount package. And this one has the carbon foot bar in the solo position rather than the stern position we sold on the last boat. This is what I preferred. Some people literally get both of them. We'll get a carbon foot bar for solo, get a carbon foot bar for the stern position. So this has the detachable cherry yoke on it. This one has the multi-height pod system. Now with the multi-height pods, the detachable component comes standard on it. So you can raise and lower it to the different positions or take it out. The combi actually comes standard with a fixed seat here. So you can either order the fixed seat detachable so you can take it out or the multi-height pods. Some people just order the standard configuration, though they just they figure they're never going to trip or anything. Having three seats in the canoe is fine. So absolutely beautiful look and finish to this particular boat. Check out this beautiful boat. So I'm going to get in this Prospector 16 now. And this one has the carbon foot bar in the solo position. So you can also get it with the kayak foot braces on it. Now the kayak foot braces, your feet will be way out to the sides, which people that are often paddling with fish tackle equipment, a small child, a dog, really like that configuration because it really gives room right in here. And it's nice to have a dog with the bow thwart right here because it keeps them from going way to the end of the boat, which will make the boat bow heavy. A paddler, a dog, a child, you're pretty balanced when you're right in this position right here. Now, very much like the Prospector 15, this is a really comfortable boat to lean way over on the side. It's got the widest, the real roundness to the chine area, the widest points really pulled way up the side. Very comfortable boat to really lean way to the side and paddle in the traditional manner. And then again, this boat responds really nicely to the person that wants to use a kayak paddle that'll sit right in the middle of the boat. If you're fishing, you can cast comfortably from here. You've got a lot of stability, good line of sight, can see the boat overall. Now, why the carbon foot bar? I like it because sometimes I like to move my feet right in the middle. Or let's say that I'm just leaning the boat a little bit to one side. I can offset my feet a little bit. So if you're not going to have a dog, a child, fish tackle equipment in front of you all the time, I love the carbon foot bar, and it's just an incredible setup with this telescoping rod. Really easy to adjust the setup on it. 
beautiful, beautiful configuration. Like the Prospector 15, this guy has the bow thwart on it with the universal mount package. And what's neat about this boat is it's a little bit further away from you. When we do the Prospector 15 tandem, we actually put the seats two inches closer to the middle. The bow seat's two inches closer, the stern seat's two inches closer. It's a real nice setup. The Prospector 16, we put those seats a little bit further away. It leaves more room for tripping equipment in the middle of this particular model. And we've really worked hard over time on getting the price the precise setups for the height and the angle of all the seats on it. Now, this is really comfortable like this. If I wanted to get more stability or let's say I had a grandparent paddling in the boat in the middle in the third seat position, it's really easy to very quickly just pop the center seat right out. So let's take this right out right now. Put it right back down in here. There's a cool pin system on the front, magnets on the back. Really holds it tightly in place. This is a cool configuration. Now guys, let me show you how quickly. I'm gonna pop this seat out right now. I've decided I wanna go on a tandem trip. So I can take that out. I can put this back in. Now a quick note guys. Whenever you're driving, take the detachable parts of your canoe off. So take the seat off, take the carbon foot bar off, take the carbon yoke off, the carbon yoke, the cherry yoke, the sassafras yoke. So look at this, guys. This is the configuration for tandem tripping. So you can get a great tandem tripping boat, really cool solo boat, Great three-person boat with the super cab, super duty Prospector 16 combi. Folks, here are some Kiwaden combis. We've got two Kiwaden 16s and a Kiwaden 17. This Kiwaden 16 combi is Kevlar Fusion with the emerald green finish. It's got the Kevlar skid plates on the end, the color match carbon end caps it's got the black and gold carbon kevlar trim with the cherry interior and this guy's got the three fixed seats in it the bow and stern seats are fixed the center seat is fixed super super cool look and finish to this this is the lightest way to get it when you get all fixed seats without the multi-height pods if weight's an issue to you some the Kiwaden 16 is a great boat to paddle. Now, this baby is absolutely beautiful. This is a Kiwaden 16 in Expedition Kevlar with a beautiful basalt anegra co-mingle finish on the outside. It's one of our extra cost specialty finish. It's got the beautiful basalt and negra co-mingle finish on the inside. And note how when it's on the inside, it's got a little flatter look to it. That's the, the reverse of the infusion bag material we use. Whereas on the outside, it's got a shinier finish, which matches the mold that we build the boat out of. Now, this particular one is super cool. It's got the quick change seating system. The bow seat and the stern seat are detachable. So you can really set this up beautifully for solo. So the solo seat on this guy is also detachable. So you can set this up great as a tandem tripping boat. It's got the carbon foot bar. Bill's favorite option on all boats right here. So this one is beautiful. It's got the cherry outers on it with the carbon end caps. I think this for nature lovers, earth tone lovers, this particular package on this boat is absolutely beautiful. On the basalt and negra co-mingles, we also do the internal black skid plates on them. Many folks also will order the additional color match black skid plates on the outside. Ooh la la, I want one of each of these.
Ah, we've just finished a portage in Algonquin Park, and I've got my beautiful Kiwaden 16 combi here. So let's flip her down. Notice how I didn't put my arms right on the yoke. I put one arm right in front and right behind. I don't like to put too much pressure on the yokes when I flip them up and down. Folks, this is the configuration right here for a tandem trip. It's set up beautifully. And the Kiwaden 16 is the second most popular canoe, tandem canoe we have to the Prospector 16. And this is a really beautiful tripping canoe for smaller couples, people doing shorter trips, a little bit more efficient in the water than the Prospector 16. It's asymmetrical, it's straighter keeled in the back end, so it goes in a straight line real nicely. There's more rocker forward in the front of the boat, so the bow is more maneuverable than the stern. And hey, you know what? I feel like going solo paddling today. So very quickly, I can take this yoke off the boat, and this particular yoke is cherry. We also have them, this weighs about two and a half pounds. We have a sassafras yoke that weighs about a pound and a half. It's another wood, a little bit more flexible. Or we have a carbon detachable yoke that weighs about a pound and a half also. So beautiful. We've taken that off. Let's grab our solo seat. And this quickly, I can pop this seat back into the boat. So the detachable seat is an option. So very quickly, I put the front pins in first. And now what's super cool about this boat, guys, this has what we call the ch quick change seating system. This is available on the Prospector 15, the Prospector 16, and the Kiwaden 16. And that is that the stern seat and the bow seat are both also detachable. Look at this here. This is an absolutely beautiful solo boat, especially for average to larger size paddler. By taking the seats out of the boat, I've made it lighter and I've created more room to put more packs, perhaps a small child, perhaps a dog. What a cool, cool setup this one is. Okay, folks, now I'm out for a solo paddle. I've taken the bow and stern seats out. It, the boat is so light like this without those seats in it. And I, I do have the center seat in it, but what a freaking cool setup this is. Now I'm gonna flip it down. Not putting too much pressure and weight on the yoke. You can hold on to the yoke if you want to. Like you can flip up with it, up and down. I just find that over time, the more pressure you put on the pens, the more chance you have of perhaps damaging the boat. So I've just finished a portage. Got my beautiful earth tone looking Expedition Kevlar Kiwaden 16 combi. That quickly, I'll take the yoke off. I'll put it behind me. I like to tie paddles in, so I would put the paddle underneath like this and have a couple strings to hold it in. My buddy Tom loves using bungee cords. They're so fast. I use small rope. I'm just used to it. It's the setup we use to camp. So now, here's my setup for solo paddling in a combi canoe. So this is a really good feel to it for me. Because this boat's asymmetrical, and you are about eight, nine inches behind center, you're right at the pivot point of the boat, the right where the rocker bottoms out. So when you're solo paddling, you've got a lot of control with the feel of the boat right in this position. Like the prospectors, the widest point is carried way up in the side. And note how consistently rounded the boat is from one end to the other. A lot of people think the Kiwaden 16s look shallow until they actually see the depth of the boat flat on the ground or on the showroom floor like this. It's almost as deep as the Prospector 16. 
not quite as much volume. So for me, solo paddling, there's a little bit, bit less boat above the waterline that if I was soloing the Prospector 16, so I'm not gonna get blown quite as much. This is a tripper's boat. More efficient in the water. With a canoe paddle or kayak paddle, if you do a stroke out in front of you more, you can get more to the bows more maneuverable so you can move the bow around in a windy, twisty river. And I find I don't have to move quite as far to the side and I can very comfortably paddle with a canoe paddle. Many people use a kayak paddle. To me, it's carbon foot bar all the way in the solo position on this boat. I like being able to move all around on it with my feet, sometimes keep them wide, sometimes paddle in the middle, sometimes move one foot over. And then I don't use the camera equipment or GoPros, but many people do, so you could get the mount package right on the bow thwart right in front of you. So check this out, guys. Keep wading in 16 combi. If you absolutely can't make your mind up, you don't know if you want a solo or a tandem, and you're into tripping, this is a great choice. Now, one word of caution. We've had a couple ladies, smaller gales, 140, 150 pounds, buy our combi canoes and thinking that they'd be great tripping boats for them. But if you're small and light and you don't have a lot of power and you get out on a really windy day on a big lake, you really want to be in one of our smaller solo canoes or one of our pack boats because you're going to have much less boat above the waterline. Now, bigger people, people with more body mass, with more weight to move a boat through the water and load it down to displace a little bit more water, absolutely love the feel of this Kiwade in 16. And David Yost, the designer, designed a beautiful shape on this boat where with a rocker forward and straighter keeled back, it's got a real nice low wetted surface area. When you take a stroke, it just accelerates beautifully and just keeps gliding into the next stroke. The Kiwaden 16 Combi, this is my choice. How much gear do you take with you? This is a couple big packs in it. We wanted you just to see what it looked like. So you could have a dog, child with you in the frontier right now. It'd be a great setup. We built a boat for a guy who did the inside passage from California all the way up to Alaska last year. He got a Prospector 16 set up with a spray deck and cover, and he was loaded to just tons of equipment, weight in it, water, everything in the boat. Most people, though, are casual paddlers, so carrying lighter weight equipment, lighter weight gear, that's my style. So they're real versatile. There's so much that you can do with one of these combi canoes now. Here's another big, big super duty pickup truck with a big king cab on a solo combi canoe. This is the Key Wade in 17, an absolute beautiful two-person tripping boat for longer trips. And if that's your style, you can get one of these set up for solo nicely. So this one is a Kevlar Fusion with a black and gold interior finish, and it's got the amber specialty finish on the outside, the black and gold, and it's got the black carbon end caps, the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim with the cherry interior, and this baby set out much how I'd like it. I love the optional sliding seat in the Kiwaden 17. So when I've got smaller paddlers in the boat, they can move the seat way forward, make it narrower to reach over the sides, and they can put their front feet on the float tanks. This is not available in the quick change seating system though. This has the optional cherry detachable yoke, the carbon foot bar. This baby's got the multi-height seat pods. The multi-hud seat pods come standard in the detachable configuration. So this baby is set up with a lot of really cool options on it. Like the Kiwaden 16, the Kiwaden 17 combi has that asymmetrical hull shape where the widest point is a little bit past the middle and the fullness is carried towards the stern. 
sleeker shape in the front of the boat, extremely efficient in the water. You always want to paddle them bow first. Rounded in the China area, DY design characteristics of all very seaworthy boats that don't get affected a lot by wind and waves. Tons of volume above the water line. You can really load this baby up with a lot. This is my choice for a two person tripping boat. And for someone my size, 6'3, 230 pounds, I have the strength and power to paddle this boat even on a windy day. So I'll often use a canoe paddle, but this is a great boat, a bigger boat to use the kayak paddle as well. And again, the adjustable one where I can adjust the length of the paddle and the angle of it. The lever lock system from Werner is a great choice. Bending branches makes a great kayak paddle also. But this is a really nice boat to use a kayak paddle with because it's a bigger boat. So there's a debate among solo canoeists. They look at people using canoes with a double-plated paddle and they're, it's sacrilegious, you shouldn't do it. I like using whatever is most efficient for me to cross the lake. And if I'm doing a trip, I take both. I take a canoe paddle, I take a kayak paddle. If it gets really windy out and I know I've really got to lean on the paddle to cross the lake, I'm gonna get my kayak paddle out. Now, when you do the kayak stroke, just like a proper canoe stroke, having your feet to really push on something really allows you to load your weight on the paddle and to really move the boat through the water more efficiently. So I actually push on this foot bar quite a bit when I'm paddling. And it's why all kayaks have foot braces. Using a kayak paddle, really a lot more efficient when you can really brace your feet on something. So the key weight and 17 combi for the solo position, you can either get this kayak foot braces or the carbon foot brace with a telescoping rod on it right here that's really adjustable very quickly. Great option to get. Here's an option for you folks. If you're not sure you want a combi canoe or not, you can order any of our tandem canoes with, a, with these two options, or in this particular case, this boat is set up with both of them. So this particular boat has what we call the solo detachable seat on it. And this particular guy has the carbon tech package. And look how wide we make the seat. So you can really move over in the side of it. So you can have a third person sit in this seat, or this is the solo point for one person to paddle it. This particular customer wanted the boat with the yoke facing the stern of the boat because they wanted a three person tripper and that's what this seat is for. So we call this the kid solo seat where we put it right in front of the yoke and we actually turn the yoke around facing the other way. So some portages that are narrower, you gotta move the boat around when you get to and from the portage. But this setup's really cool. You can actually trip or paddle with four people in this boat very comfortably. If you want to, you can take one of the seats out. So you can very easily paddle three people in this boat. Or you can put this seat back in, you can take the one in front of the yoke out, and you've got a really cool setup for someone who wants to solo paddle. So, this particular seat also is detachable. So this baby is set up to really roll. There's so many configurations that you can get on this particular model. So an option for you all to consider. One more thing for you all to think about. Here is a Kiwaden 16 and it's the pack configuration. So this is set up for two people which has our super comfortable pack boat seats in it. We brought the base way up, so you're way off the floor of the boat. Very thick padding on these. They've got the adjustable lumbar support. Super comfortable when you're not using them. You unclick it, you pull this down, tighten it up, you can drive with it and so on. Now, stern seat also, the same configuration, so you find the sweet spot for your back. It's super cushy on the lumbar support. 
if comfort, you get back pain, you're just not comfortable in the normal canoe, the Key Waden 16 pack is a great canoe to get. And now, last year, we had four separate groups order the boat. They also wanted the solo paddle with it. We can do the single height, the upper position side pods with the canoe seat in here, right in the middle at the balance point with the detachable yoke. So if you want a combi canoe, but you really want the ultra comfortable pack boat seats in it, this is an option for you. We only do it with the Kiwaden 16 pack, and we only do it with the single height pods on the top of the boat. We don't have a seat that can be put right in the middle. So another beautiful boat. So, Combi Canoe customers, we've given you a lot to digest. If it's overwhelming and you need some help, call us at our 1-800 number. Email us. We've got a team of people here that can help work with you, help you choose which model, which options, which configuration, which laminates will be best for you. So, there'll be a beautiful Combi Canoe for you in the future. Cheers.